In this vet video, I'm going to show you how to use fireworks to create a basic site map for a site. So we're going to create a new fireworks document, which will end up being a PNG ping file. And I'm going to have it set to 1060 by 1000. That's what I'm just usually working with for my web files. So I'll actually crop it smaller when I'm done. But that gives me a good place to start. Typically, when I'm creating a site map, I like to use two symbols. I have a simple rectangle symbol, which will simply represent my page. And here I actually want to change the settings on this slightly. I don't want it filled in. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to go into my properties down here. And I want my fill to be nothing. Or white. There we go. And I want, I do want an external line. I think that's a bit thick. So I'm going to select my lines. And instead of 8 pixels, um, I'm going to set it to 3. OK, so that's my basic. That represents a page. What I'm trying to do here <clears throat> is indicate how pages link together. And you can. convert this to a symbol and put it in the library, which I'm going to do. And this is simply going to be a graphic. And I'm going to call it page. And I'm going to save it to my common library. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now when I indicate multiple similar pages, and I'm going to hit hold my Alt key down. I'm on a Mac and hit the arrow once. That makes a copy for me. If I hold the Shift key, while hitting the arrow, it moves things 10 pixels. So I'm going to hit my Alt key again, make another copy, and move it 6 pixels in each direction. I actually want to do this slightly different. I want to send this one to the back. And that, for me, will represent multiple similar pages. And I'm also going to make this a symbol. By drawing a box around it. And I'm going to convert it to a symbol. I'm going to call it multiple pages. And I'm going to save it to the common library. So now I have the two images that I need for creating my sitemap. And this is going to be for maryhelp.net. And I like to frequently just lay out before I start putting text in. Again, I can just use my Alt key to make a copy. Alt, arrow, that gives me a copy. So I'm going to have several top level pages. And then I will have underneath each of them multiple pages of a similar type. So I know roughly where I'm going when I set this up. And I have lots of cool tools, like my Align tool here, where I can Align those vertical center. I did not actually want to align the top one. So it gives me six identical ones. Let's pull one of these out. I only wanted five in there. And so those are nicely aligned. Line that one up on top. And typically, underneath these pages, I'm going to have a bunch of similar pages, because this is for my Mary Help site. And I could go further into this 
level if I wanted to, but usually at this point I'm going to start putting some text in and I might have some offshoots to these pages. This is going to be a very simple site. The site is, this is actually working on a redesign for Mary Help. net and you can change your font sizes in here fairly easily. I'll just put that in the center there and then I'll change my font size down here and we'll try 16 and see how that works and that works okay for me. Now we can also change our zoom level up to 100%, which is about where I want to be. And this is going to let me see the basic structure of my site. This site is for tutorials for different topics. So for this site, I'm going to include topics on JavaScript, I'm going to include topics on programming logic and you can use your align tools in here as well select both and get them perfectly aligned if that is important to you. I do like them to look professional so I do typically go through that at the end and neaten things up. I'm going to have web scripting which is HTML, CSS, it's a hand coding of web pages and for regardless of what sort of development you're doing if you're using a tool like Dreamweaver or if you're doing hand coding you always want to plan first and to me this is always the first step in my planning and these top level pages are actually going to become the top level nav navigation on my main page so I'm going to also include interactive web pages where I will code things using jQuery and Edge to make interactive web pages since Flash, which was originally used for that, is sort of moving to more being a true animation program and less of a web development program. And then I would also have a page of useful resources. And that's going to be just one single page with nothing underneath it because I like to give out or give links to the tools that I use in class because there are a lot of phenomenal free tools and videos out there so I will put links for that on this page. And this will become the top level of my navigation. Now on each section here when I go into the page I will have tutorials, lessons, information like that, but it's pretty much going to be the same thing in each one. It will be my lessons. And so I can copy this. It would have actually been easier if I'd created this first. Get these aligned properly. It actually puts it a little off-center because of the two boxes. And I can actually make this a little bit easier delete those and you can group these into one object so that it'll move together by choosing group and now it's one object so when I use my alt key which I just made three copies I can then have these all set up the same way. I could go further in depth and I would on some pages but this page is really very simple. It's classes with lessons. There isn't anything else under each page. So my last step is to simply draw some lines connecting all of my objects together. 
just showing everything will link to the top page and my front page will talk about why it exists. So maryhelp.net, this would be the home page, the index page when you enter the site. And then this is my top level navigation um, that you'll, is available from the front page, but is also available from every single page on the site. This would be the top bar showing what classes I'm offering. And then under each of these classes, they will get lessons. And again, I can select this object here and I can group it together and make copies so everything pretty much ends up looking the same. So I'll just drag those over. And this is a very basic sitemap. Now sitemaps can actually mean two things in web design. This is my sitemap that is the initial design that I would present to a client saying these are the pages I believe I'm going to create for you. And in this one I can actually tell you because I'm in a 16 week semester with the last week usually being for final projects to do, there will be a set of 15 lessons for each class. I will have useful resources so I can predict how many total pages that I'm going to have. It's important to know because if you're charging somebody for the site, you the number of pages is going to be very critical into your quoting the site. So this is my overview of the pages I'm going to create for my new site. And then my next step would be to create a wireframe for that new site indicating how I would place graphics and items on each page. And we'll do that in the next video.